Hi everyone, Allie Miller here. I am a registered dietitian that practices functional medicine and uses food as medicine solutions. So functional medicine is always seeking the root cause of chronic condition. So trying to understand the why versus just silencing symptoms. And I use food as medicine as a double-edged sword approach, meaning that we have to both remove those foods that are pro-inflammatory or hormone disrupting, and that includes foods that would provide false insulin signaling, as well as foods that drive toxin overload, and focus on an abundance of therapeutic foods, foods that are anti-inflammatory, foods that support neurogenesis and the function of our brain and the way that our neurons fire, foods that aid in the detoxification process and promote hormone and metabolic optimization. So I'm super excited because I'm going on book tour to release my third book, The Anti-Anxiety Diet cookbook and I will be stopping all over the country including an event with Dr. Eric Westman for Adapt Your Life San Antonio on October 19th. Check out the link below and make sure you grab your tickets because it's going to be an awesome full day conference jam-packed with information. So the Anti-Anxiety Diet Cookbook provides the application of the science and strategy that I went into with last year's book, The Anti-Anxiety Diet. And whether anxiety resonates with you or not, when we're looking at the body's stress response, all of us are overburdened with overstimulation, increased demand, and really frankly just wearing and taking on too many hats. So the anti-anxiety diet provides tools and strategy to be more resilient to our daily stressors and to balance the HPA axis. This is the hypothalamic pituitary in the brain and the adrenals that sit above our kidneys that regulate whether we are in a sympathetic fight or flight mode or a parasympathetic rest, digest, reproduce, metabolize, all of our regulatory function is optimized in this parasympathetic state. So when you come to that conference or see me during my anti-anxiety diet cookbook tour stops, which I'll list a link below to upcoming events, you will learn about how you can add tools to your tool belt to harness the wild stallion of your brain and focus on those abundant foods to help to really create calm within your day-to-day -day function. I know as a full-time functional medicine practitioner and a mother of a three-year-old that these tools work and these maintain keeping me in a thrive mode versus just white knuckle and survive. So I wanna give you five stress strategies and food as medicine that you can use within your ketogenic lifestyle. The first nutrient is magnesium. So magnesium is the ultimate chill pill. If you're looking at supplemental form, the best form is magnesium bisglycinate or magnesium glycinate. This is more of the neuromuscular influence versus the osmotic water-focused form of citrate. So magnesium bisglycinate or magnesium glycinate. And what this does is it actually crosses the blood-brain barrier and kind of acts as a bodyguard to regulate our neurotransmitters and prevent too much excitatory stress responding chemicals. It also is going to play a role with neuromuscular relaxation. So when we're holding tension in our jaw or in our neck or our shoulders after a stressful day or our blood pressure is elevated, magnesium can help to regulate all of that neuromuscular function in the body and release that tension. Magnesium also prevents excess cortisol to be put out from the adrenal glands. You can get magnesium by getting two to three cups of leafy greens in your diet per day. Also look at a blend of nuts and seeds and cacao, dark chocolate. Always love a prescription for chocolate. Uh, cacao is very rich in antioxidants and also magnesium, which helps with that neuromuscular relaxation. So the second nutrient I want you to focus on is going to be B vitamins and choline. You're gonna get the most abundant B vitamins and choline in your liver and egg yolks. So get back to eating those organs. In my lectures, I'll talk to you guys about how to incorporate organs into your whole household. And in my anti-anxiety diet cookbook, I have a sneaky bolognese, um, which incorporates organs into a like spaghetti sauce that you can do over leafy greens or uh, spaghetti squash. And then 
then I also have recipes in my kids section for incorporating organs into turkey uh, meatballs that also have ground macadamia nuts for a really nice toothy crunch. Choline and B vitamins really aid to bathe your neurological system. They also enhance energy and metabolism and cognitive function and boost mood and memory. The next nutrient I want to focus on is L-theanine. This is a modulator or a pilot for your brain chemistry. It actually upregulates your alpha brain waves. These are what are seen in meditation, creative thought process, concentration and focus without agitation and anxiety. The highest food in L-theanine is matcha. So swapping out your daily fatty coffee or black coffee for a matcha, which is ground green tea leaves, is going to provide you that chill with still concentrate and focus and energy boost of the natural caffeine without going into that stressed and wired mode that you might see with coffee. The fourth nutrient that I want to focus on is maybe not a nutrient, maybe a living thing, probiotics and probiotic rich foods. So a cup of culture a day keeps the doctor away is how I like to say it. And probiotics are really nature's Prozac. When you support your microbiome, you're going to enhance the way that your body produces serotonin and GABA. These are the mellower outers for our brain chemistry. They will help when you get those levels optimized with also curbing cravings because you feel more comfortable and relaxed. You're not going for a snack or a munch or a crunch to nullify the racing thoughts and trying to go for that escape mechanism of a food coma. So probiotics both can aid in serotonin and GABA as landing gears for stress response, and that in turn can boost mood as well as aid in staying on track with whatever diet plan you're doing because you're not going to have to white knuckle the cravings when you feel naturally more satiated. The fifth food I'm going to leave for a mystery for you guys, so you'll have to come check out one of my lectures. Again, the link's below. I'm so excited for upcoming events on my book tour. You can go on over to AllieMillerRD.com to check it out, and definitely grab your tickets, those of you in the Texas area, to come meet me at San Antonio Adapt.